in addition to the culture, it's really, we have looked at data. Um, we're a very data-driven school, and the speaker this morning talked about data and relationships, and that is absolutely what we're about. Um, we look at data from our school climate survey, so what's the amount of bullying that's happened? Do kids feel safe in school? Um, that data is significant, where we have students we dropped um, from one year to the next, so we've taken data for four years now, and we've dropped from um, we've dropped six percent in the number of kids who uh, were bystanders. So basically, we ran the numbers. We're actually a little disappointed in that six percent number, but um, we had a some parent in our audience who came up back to school night, and we presented the data, and he said um, he's a federal agent that does data for the federal government. And he said, you know, that any change um, above 4% in, in your numbers is significant. So you should be really happy about that. So we're like, okay. Um, but we've seen an improvement every single year in the number of kids who stand up in a situation where they feel like someone is being bullied. And so we're really proud of that piece. Um, and our test scores, it's hard to look at that data because as look for improvements because we're really high to begin with. We're in a pretty affluent area. Um, we're in a university town. Um, we have kids who do really well. So our academic achievements have, we've seen small increases, but it's, I mean, we're at 97, 98 percentile of proficiency and those scores have stayed or increased just a bit, but it's really, that's not the piece that we're concerned about. We want to still keep reaching for 100%, but it's really stayed there. Our data um, excitement has been about seeing kids stand up as bystanders and step in to help their peers.